Progressive Christianity and its discontents. Progressive Christianity is progressing towards something which is not Christianity. I recently came across a post online which provoked me. I use the word provoked quite deliberately because I felt a very strong emotion within, a conviction to say something, when I fully realized what I was reading. Two columns, one stating what the Bible is, the other what it is not. A progressive church posted these points, which I immediately perceived as a sort of proclamation of faith, a declaration of what they believe, or rather, what they do not believe. The clarifications offered to explain what the Bible is are as follows. It is a product of community, a library of texts, it is multivocal, it is a human response to God, and it is living and dynamic. I'll explore most of these points and then touch on what I think is the main point in the left column. Yes, the Bible is a product of community, in the sense that a community of varying people wrote the various books which comprise the texts, and the library of texts which we call the Bible certainly were written by different voices. I think it's also fair to say that the Bible is a human response to the events which unfolded upon the earth. But it's important to note that a response Any response implies an event or series of initiated events which require one to respond. God reaches out to us and we respond accordingly. But one of the things which makes Christianity so astounding is that God does not simply initiate the events described in the Bible, but providentially initiates our response as well. So one must be careful not to think that the Bible is merely a response devoid of God. Rather, the initiating of the events and the response to those events both share the same fundamental author. The incredible claim is that the Holy Spirit guides us not only today, but inspired the minds of those early Christians who put ink to paper. The word inspire does mean to put spirit into, after all. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, it reads, All scripture is inspired by God. The Greek word that Paul uses for inspired in that verse is theonoustos, which literally means God breathed. So when it is said that the Bible is inspired, we mean that the words of Scripture are the very words of God. But it is precisely this supreme mystery which the progressive Christian gets right up against and then does not try to take in, but tries to take apart through a process of deconstruction. The progressive Christian seeks to reconcile the Bible's teaching to our modern sentiments. But the Bible remains the only truly modern thing, since it never ages. It is the Bible which is young and fresh, and the world which has grown old and stale. It is neither progressive nor regressive, since its author has already arrived, so to speak, at both the beginning and the end. The Bible takes place within a certain context and age, yes, but its truth transcends every context and age. It is not simply a reflection of past times, but is itself beyond the times. Our modern opinions fade from one age to the next, unlike the Bible which has outlasted many ages, as well as entire kingdoms and empires. And so, to align oneself to the current age is always to align oneself to something dying something which will forever lack transcendence. As a consequence, any church which marries itself to the current age is doomed to become a widow in the next, to paraphrase Fulton Sheen. There are many wonderful resources online which explore and debunk progressive Christianity. But here I want to focus mainly upon the first point in the left column of the image we originally looked at. The point being that the Bible is not the word of God. Instead of providing an apologetic response as to why I believe this to be the case, I merely want to explore some of the problems this view leads to, problems which any church will have to deal with once they abandon the transcendence of Scripture, problems which will never be satisfied, since any solution which deviates from Scripture will inevitably lead to more problems and ever deeper discontents. If the Bible is not truly the Word of God, then it is, at the most fundamental level, nothing. Its teachings and truths are merely the reflections and opinions of humans and will eventually be washed away along with everything else when the time comes. 
Again, and I must stress, at the most fundamental level, if the Bible is not the Word of God, it shares no more authority than any other text mankind has produced, whether that be the Encyclopedia Britannica or the menu at your local McDonald's. As I have already said, the Bible makes the supremely astounding claim of being inspired by God himself, and it is precisely this wonder which the progressive Christian refuses to progress towards. He, the progressive Christian, is not content with the ideal delivered by the Bible, and so instead of seeking to change himself, constantly changes the ideal. He is like an education system which constantly lowers the pass rate because the children keep failing. True progress is only possible when we progress towards an ideal which is itself stable and unchanging. But if the ideal changes and adjusts itself to the requirements of every age, we do not have true progress, but instead a cyclical devouring of our own tales. At least someone who claims that there are many ways up the religious mountain believes that there is something atop the mountain to reach, but the progressive has put progress above all other values and so continues to circle the mountain, convincing himself that the current age can define its own destination. Round and round he goes, but just as one cannot hold time, one cannot reach progress itself, for once you've reached it, you find it has already taken a new shape, a new definition, and now the scriptures must again be deconstructed further to accommodate the endless change which characterizes the human heart, which is, as scripture says, deceitful above all things. But the Christian ideal has not been tried and found wanting. As G.K. Chesterton so wisely said, it has been found difficult and left untried. The progressive Christian is not progressing towards Christianity, but only towards his own vision of what he thinks Christianity should be. We must pray that one day he will stop deconstructing the Bible and begin reading it. One only truly appreciates the light when one has been in the darkness. But if Christ is the light of the world, and he is, then the Christ of progressive Christianity can be no more than a synthetic light. If an atheist tells me that the Bible is not the word of God because he does not believe it, at least I can rest assured that one day the atheist may truly experience God for himself. But the progressive Christian does not seem to be seeking God, as is attested by every attempt to take scripture apart, and in denying the fundamental authority of Christ's words, the progressive Christian denies the only words that could ever truly save him. I leave you with two additional thoughts, originally penned by that intellectual giant already mentioned, G.K. Chesterton. Do we really want a church that tells us we are right when we think we are right? Or do we want a church that tells us we are wrong when we think we are right? Anyone genuinely seeking the truth desires the latter. But anyone who desires his own truth will seek the former. We do not want a church which moves with the world. We want a church which moves the world. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.